hello everyone welcome to computerized engineering in this video we will be making this part and I have the drawing over here now if you look at the drawing and you try to do this on your own I'm sure you might be stuck at one point because this drawing requires you to make a 3d sketch in order to make the part and you might be wondering does FreeCAD support 3d sketching the answer is no but there is a way to work around it and in this video I will show you exactly how you can make this part by making a 3d sketch in FreeCAD so let's get started I will close this document and start a new empty file let's look at step number one in step one we have to create this sketch and once we create this sketch we will revolve it and get something like this so the dimensions for this profile come from here so let's begin tasks create body create sketch front xz plane so this one is 9 followed by a 12.5 Let's give rest of the dimensions. This is 10 and this is 4. Our sketch is fully constrained. Let's close it. Go to model. And while this sketch is selected, go to revolution. This will automatically detect the excess of revolution. Okay. Now we are done with step number 1. Let's move on to step 2. And this is the step in which we create the 3D sketch. Or I should say, we do the work around to get the 3d sketch so we, we will do this by creating these three points the red dot blue dot and green dot and also this orange dot which is directly below this uh, green dot and once we create these four points we will join them using a line I will show you how to do that first let's proceed with making the red dot which is located on this surface so just click here begin your sketch and then choose this create point make sure this is fully constrained exit okay now let's proceed with the second point the blue point which is located 32 millimeters above the bottom so create your sketch on this plane again choose the point Put it over here and give it dimensions 32 millimeters upwards this is fully constrained let's close and then next we have the third point which is 20 millimeters from the center and 62 millimeters from the bottom so again begin your sketch on the same plane Put the point here you can either put it left or on right side it's it doesn't matter because either way we will um, we will mirror it let's give it dimensions 20 and 62 okay now now we have to make our last fourth point which is 30 millimeters um, in front of this green point so in order to do that uh, we will create a datum plane but first click here press spacebar so you can view the origin click here and then go to create a datum plane and scroll down to uh, give this an offset of 30 millimeters I want it in opposite direction so click here flip sides okay hide this again choose this begin your sketch put the point here give it dimensions 20 from the center and 62 from the bottom fully constrained let's hide this okay now we will create our 3d sketch and in order to do that go from part design to draft once you are in draft choose this option polyline and make sure the line 
snaps to each of the point. Once you're done, close it and then um, what we have to do is give this radius which is 20 millimeter here and here as well. So find fillet radius, give this 20 and then return to part design. You can see the fillet has been applied. So the next step is to create uh, this pipe which has a radius of uh, sorry a diameter of 15 millimeter so choose this face begin your sketch 15 okay now we will choose this option additive pipe to make the pipe uh, once you have the sketch selected click over here and then uh, we can see in profile you have your sketch and in path to sweep along click add edge and then one by one add all of these edges click OK so once this is done click here on additive pipe and then go to mirrored so this will mirror this for you click OK so this is the end of step 3. In step 4 we have to create this hollow feature and in order to do that we just have to create one more point and then I will show you which option to choose. So first let's create another point over here which is also located here in the center. Let's hide the body and actually no, let's view the body but let's hide this, okay, because I want to see these points. Go back to draft and choose polyline again, then connect these points again. Close again, give this a radius of 20 return to part design let's view our body okay so now we have to create uh, a circle which has a diameter of 11 millimeter to create this hollow part click here begin your sketch 11 Now what you have to do is um, click here and go to wireframe. We are in wireframe so that we are able to select the path to sweep along otherwise we won't be able to see it. So while this sketch is selected go to subtractive pipe and in path to sweep along start adding these edges. So this will be highlight this will be highlighted in this um, color for you. Okay, so once this is done, uh, return to flat lines. Click over here and press spacebar so that you will hide the mirror part and you can only see the subtractive pipe so your part should look something like this now let's mirror this as well click here and then click here okay so now this feature is mirrored so this is the end of step 4 let's move on to step 5 we have to create this highlighted part so select this face begin your sketch in order to latch this go to this option and select these circles now select this point and this point and just join them together similarly this one and this one 
this has a radius of 13 let's assign this radius now there are two more circles 66 millimeters apart from each other Sixty-six. That means from the center it should be half of sixty-six, and they have a radius of five millimeter. So this is five. Okay, so this is diameter. That means ten. Control select. Make them equal. Select the center point and this point make them horizontal similarly for this okay now we have to trim the excess edges uh, select this option trim edge click here 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 and here okay now this makes our sketch under constraint okay I see where the problem is uh, control select these two make them tangent okay and if you're unsure where the problem lies try to you know move your sketch uh, that way you will know which areas you have to constrain select these two this line and this line make them tangent okay now this is fully constrained we just have to do a few more things create these circles uh, which have a diameter of 4.5 and also the opening over here So this one 4.5, 4.5 and these two make them equal and this is 11 millimeter. So this is good. Now we have to give this a thickness but you see this is 5 millimeters towards the center of this part so while this sketch is selected go here and just reverse this and give this a length of 5 so this is good this is okay Now we have to give some fillets. Go here. Select these edges. Five. Okay, this is good. Next, we have to give a chamfer over here which is 2 millimeter and 45 degrees select this option distance and angle so this was 2 and 45 actually click here select and then choose okay so the next step the rest of the chamfers 1 and 45 distance and angle 1 and 45 so it's this edge select this edge also over here and in the front over here Okay, so now we have all the fillets and the chamfers. So this brings us to step 9 and we have to give a radius over here. But unfortunately, I was unable to figure that out. Maybe there's something that I'm doing wrong or maybe there is this limitation with FreeCAD but I was unable to make a, a fillet over here hence the sad face 
but don't worry I have found a way to work around it we will send our file to LS prepost which is free to use and then we will fix it and bring the geometry back I will show you how it's done so go to Google and LS prepost download go over here and choose the version which suits you once you have the software downloaded what we will do is wait, what's this okay so yeah once you have it downloaded um, select the body go to file export and you have to save this as a step file so let's call this twin pipes okay then open ls prepost and go to file open step file and open this file uh, make sure the specify unit is in millimeters so here you have uh, the pipe now let's try to give a fill over here go over here solid and then fill it change this to 5 and click here and then apply so for some reason it works over here but uh, did not work on FreeCAD if someone has a solution on FreeCAD feel free to comment and uh, we all, all of us can have a look at it so now uh, we will save this save geometry as step let's call this twin pipes fixed now let's return and open this file okay so now we have our twin pipe over here and it is fixed now let's suppose you want to further make some few adjustments let's say you want to give a fillet over here how would you do that so just go to fillet first it will tell you active body required click ok then drag this down over here now you can edit it as you want let's suppose you want to give a fillet over here and then you want to create something over here I'm just giving you an example like something like this and then extrude it so all of this is possible but you might have noticed the tree has disappeared I mean it's no longer available because the part was modified externally so this is how you uh, create this part and now you know how to do a 3d sketch in FreeCAD or I should say you know how to work around a 3d sketch in FreeCAD I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any requests uh, comment below and I will surely consider them so that's all for this video take care and see you in next video